Hello crafters, my name is Cora and welcome to Craftopia, where we are creating a safe space for artists and crafters of all ages and experience levels to learn, create, explore, and grow. I'd like to invite you to check out our website at www.craftopiawa.com where you can learn more about our organization and vision and see a list of upcoming classes. You can also follow us on social media at Craftopiawa. Now, pull up a chair, get comfortable, and let's get crafty. If you're using a kit from Craftopia, then you already have everything you need to make several seed bombs. You will need to provide a small bowl or cup of water, although the kind of container doesn't really matter. So go ahead and grab something, put a little bit of water in there, and let's get making some seed bombs. To start, take a piece of your tissue paper and we're simply gonna shred it into small pieces. The smaller you can make it, the better, although large pieces will work as well. Now, tissue paper is deceptively strong for being really thin paper. Sometimes it can be hard to tear. So you may find it easier to tear off a big piece, soak it in a bowl of water, and then tear it into smaller pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and tear a bunch of pieces up, put them in water, let them soak, so we can get this process going. Now you won't need to use all of your tissue paper, but you are gonna want about a good handful of pieces in there in order to make one bomb. And you can make multiple at a time or one at a time, doesn't really matter. Feel free to mix and match your colors however you'd like. All right, so we got a bunch of pieces of tissue paper. They're all here soaking in water. You can see when we squeeze them together a little, they're starting to stick, which is exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and uh, set that aside for a second. Make sure we have a nice, clean, dry working surface while we pull out our seeds. Now the seeds in your Craftopia packet are a mixture of a variety of wildflower seeds. So let's, we're gonna grab a piece of our wet paper, squeeze out a decent amount of the water. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry because you do still want it to stick together and you want the seeds to stick to it as well. And we're gonna flatten it out a little bit. This is gonna become the bed for our seeds. I'm gonna squish it down on my table here to make sure that it's really well stuck. And then just sprinkle a small amount of seeds. A little bit goes a long way with this, so don't get too crazy. Some of the seeds are also a little bigger, so you might need to add a little extra paper here and there in order to accommodate that. Then we're gonna repeat by taking another clump of paper, squeezing it out, and then pressing it on top. This is where you need to make sure that your paper is still a little damp so that all of your pieces will squeeze together. Once you have that second piece of paper on top, give it a good squish, pick it up, roll it in your palm, make a nice little ball, and simple as that, you are ready to go. This seed bomb is ready to be tossed somewhere to uh, explode into amazing blooms and blossoms this summer. Squeeze out as much of the water as you can, and if you're not planning on planting it right away, we do recommend that you wait until it is completely dry before storing it in anything. But there you go. Make a bunch of seed bombs and spread some floral love. We hope you had a good time crafting with us today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below this video or send us an email at info at craftopiawa.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future crafty goodness. Until next time.